Hi, um, tomorrow I will be flying from Sydney to Melbourne uh, with my two boys, one of uh, nearly three. Zeg me even hi. Uh, I was bye. Oh, ik word erbij. Zeg maar hi. Hi. And, and my other boy of nearly one, um, by myself. Um, it will be an hour and a half flight, so it will be quite short. But anyways, I wanted to show you what I'm going to take and what, what I'm going to put in my nappy bag. Here is my nappy bag. Um, I always bring a bottle of milk for my oldest boy. Um, he can drink it during takeoff. And also during landing, um, there will be another of uh, another bottle. But I, I will ask the crew for the for the other bottle. Um, it really helps. It's my um, experience to give him a bottle or something, some drink, um, because of the uh, for for his ears, because of the pressure in the cabin. There will will be pressure on their ears, and sometimes it can be quite painful, especially when they're quite young. Um, my youngest boy, he's still breastfeeding, so normally I try to give him. Um, a feed during takeoff and during landing. Um, if he doesn't want to, if he's not interested, I have a dummy with me. So we can always try to give him the dummy to swallow. So put it in here too. Um, then of course I bring some nappies. Um, it's, as I said, it's gonna be a short flight tomorrow. So I only bring uh, two nappies for my youngest boy and two nappies for my oldest boy. Um, then I have some, some wipes, some baby wipes. And then there's a disposable uh, change mat. I love these because you can just throw them out after the flight uh, when you're done. Um, I have some cream as well in case there's some nappy rash and then um, some nappy bags for the dirty nappies. nappies. Um, I put everything together. I love putting everything together when I travel in a, in a package. Um, so I can just bring this package with me to the toilet uh, instead of bringing the whole nappy bag, which is going to be full. And um, uh, also instead of just bring a nappy and some wipes and your child and everything. So I find this very, very useful. So put it in here as well. Uh, then I also uh, bring some additional clothes. I put it in the nappy bag. So for my youngest boy, I have uh, some pants and then um, also a bodysuit and a shirt. It's gonna be in here. And then for my oldest boy, I also have a shirt. I like to bring um, PJ pants because they fold up really nice and tight. And then um, I have a bodysuit as well and some additional socks. So that goes all in here too. Um, then I also like to bring some food. Um, there's, there, most of the time there is there is some food on board of the airplane, some baby food, but I like I like to have my own um, altogether. So I'll bring my own food. And this one as well, and some bibs of course. Um, I normally also bring some snacks, but I have to pick them up today. Uh, for the boys, uh, especially sultanas, I find very, very helpful for my oldest boy because it takes a long time to, to get them out of the package and eat them, so it takes them quite a long time. And I also like to bring my own cutlery, of course, and then um, for, for the babies, and then um, uh, a straw for my oldest boy because uh, most of the times they don't have them on board of the airplane, and uh, it really helps in order to prevent spilling drinks and stuff. So, I like that to do that too. I normally also bring. Um, um, a calming a calming product this is dr brower I, I like but there's there's lots more of course um, in relation to calming products um it's, this is baby baby calm um i must say i've never used it i've never i've never used it uh, on board of an airplane but it's really um uh, uh, for me it's really comforting to know that i have something in case there's going to be um yeah really um uh, pain in the ears or um if, if there's going to be uh, yeah, I don't know whatever's gonna happen, but it's just good to have something, something on board. Also, I'll normally also bring some Panadol. Uh, so, but as I said, I've been really lucky uh, so far. I haven't been <laughs> been uh, having to use it. Um, then I also bring some some toys. Um, I like to bring some some small books, um, especially during uh, takeoff and landing. Uh, the children have to be strapped in, and they. My experience is that they don't like that that um, the period of time. So I bring some books so I can read read them some books. So put it in here too. And then I uh, tomorrow I'm gonna bring an activity book for my oldest boy with some uh, with some crayons, uh, which he loves. So he can just some drawing and stuff which will be really really nice so put it in here too and the 
crayons. And then of course I have my, my wallet and my phone and the passports. Put it all together in here. Zip it up. And this one is all ready to go, so that's wonderful. Um, I normally have another piece of hand luggage and that's um, a suitcase for my for my boy. Um, but what I really love, so he can put his own toys, he can start packing this one today, he, put his, he puts his own toys in there. Um, but I normally I also put um, um, uh, some, some additional nappies in there, especially when it's going to be in longer flights. Also when it's going to be longer flights, some PJs for the children, some uh, maybe a favorite blanket, some, uh, some toy for sleepy time. So things that really help them to go to sleep. And um, also an additional shirt for myself in case if there's going to be throw ups or uh, spilling of food or whatever. Um, so I just put some additional stuff in here as well, so that's really really helpful. But I put this one, this one normally goes uh, in the overhead lockers. So it's always great to have a nappy bag full of everything uh, close to me. So I put this one preferably um, underneath the, the chair in front of me. So um, if I need anything it's handy and I don't have to grab, get up and grab uh, the other bag. But you know, you always have it handy, uh, you always have it with you as well. So that's it, we're all ready to go.